Alright people, so I'm here with a video about the ISIS killings. Um, and somebody requests me to do this video. Um, I got it right here on my iPhone. Let me just let me take a second to look it up. Um, Google Drive here. Come on, Google Drive. But anyway, let me just start this video off by saying, yes, America is the one that funds ISIS. I've covered that numerous times in my video, so I will not really be covering that one, that topic that much throughout this video. Um, but I will more be covering just the ISIS killings for the most part. I mean, I've exposed it numerous times on my, on my channel how we fund the terrorists. Just, just type into Google, U.S. funds Taliban or U.S. funds Al Qaeda or U.S. funds terrorism, and you'll get, you could look up ABC News. U.S. funding both sides of the war on terror. So anyway, this video was re requested by Neon Dream Z ninety eight on YouTube. So um, where to start here? I gotta, as usual, got some articles here. Let's see which ones I want to start with here. Um, I guess we'll start with this one. West training, uh, West training Syrian rebels in Jordan. The Guardian. So, yeah, I mean, so this is pretty much saying that, in other words, the West is training uh, ISIS or, or terrorists in Jordan. So Jordan is a safe haven for the terrorists. Jordan is, so Jordan is probably training the terrorists because these so-called Syrian rebels are just uh, pretty much ISIS. And even Rand Paul said, got that in here too, um said in his um, uh, little speech here in front of the Senate, which I will read an excerpt out of later, he was pretty much talking about how, yeah, you know, all these Syrian rebel groups are just ISIS and we're funding them. So, so there you go. I mean, Jordan's acting all badass, oh, we're going to go attack ISIS and beat them, when they are the ones who are actually training, letting the U.S. and the West training, train ISIS in Jordan itself. All right. So then we're going to talk about a little bit about Obama's lie here. Obama says, yeah, he says in his speech on September 10, 2014, <laughs> the eve of 9-11, uh, last year, and he's like, yeah, you know, this isn't going to be a ground war, no ground troops, for the, you know, really, it's not going to be a 10 or 15 year war. I, I don't think he said 10 or 15 year war, but he was kind of, he made like a one statement like this is, this is not going to be a, a war of ground troops. Oh, is that why you sent 1,500 troops there, Obama? CNN right there. And then they're like, oh, well, they're not going for military operations. When I have, have on my phone here, my phone's my light. It makes me look more, more pretty, see? So I'm just going to take it off for a little bit here. I know I still look very handsome, just not as handsome as I look. But anyway, we got the Daily Mail here. Oh, they're not going for battle? Really? Can you see that, people? Uh, Daily Mail. Okay, fucking focus in. Maybe, maybe if I tap it, it'll focus. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So there you go, people. Um, and if you can't read it, if you're illiterate or you didn't have time to read it, just look it up. Search Daily Mail. American troops battle ISIS for first time as they see off attempted attack by militants on Iraqi base. So they are fighting ISIS. There you go, people. <laughs> it's just crazy. So anyway, let's get back to the... Uh, and I said I wouldn't talk about U.S. funding terrorism that much, but there you go. Here's another article for you. Uh, this is from the Business Insider. ISIS militants captured 52 American-made artillery weapons that cost $500,000 each. So just $24 million of weapons there, people. Or $26 million, my bad, of weapons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, big de no big deal there. And then we also got Rand Paul saying here, and I got, uh, he, he said that roughly 600 tons of weapons to the ISIS, to the, to the militants in Syria in 2013 alone. So there you go. Um show that the Saudi Arabia and Jordan have supplied roughly 600 tons of weapons to the militants in Syria in 2013 alone. 600 tons, that's a lot of fucking weapons, if you ask me. 
So there you go, people. Um, that's basically all the articles I have, I believe. So, uh, again, we're the ones who fund ISIS, us and our allies. Uh, you know, and it came out in, in mainstream news that our allies fund. Uh, what the fuck is this? Some fucking shit that's on my... When I push the screen to fucking make the uh, article title appear, uh, the fucking thing stop. Whatever, I don't even... Fucking technology these days, you know? It's supposed to be top of the line, but then it has some little petty fuck up that they, you know, they think they can fix. But anyway, you look at ISIS, you look at Al-Qaeda, you, you look at Taliban, they're all funded by the U.S. And if we didn't fund them in the first place and our allies didn't fund them, then uh, they probably wouldn't be as strong as they are today. Uh, you know, why did they get as big as they are today? Why did they become so big? You know, it's because we are funding them, and we went in there and we destabilized the region. And we overthrew people like Gaddafi, Assad, or we're trying to overthrow uh, Assad. And, um, fuck, I forgot uh, Hussein, too. Who, who were all, you know, they're not great people or anything, but they're all enemies of ISIS. So if you go by our theory that we're, we have a war of terrorism, then why are we funding Assad? Or why are we funding the, the, the Syrian rebels who are looking to overthrow Assad? Does that make any sense? They're like, oh, he committed chemical attacks on his own people. MIT investigation showed no, he didn't. It showed that, that it was impossible that he could have done the chemical attacks. It would have been impossible because I think they said he was too far away. Oh, oh, yeah, you committed horrible acts. Uh, uh, shut the fuck up, all right? Using war propaganda again to, to push their agenda of destabilizing the Middle East all for the greater good of the New World Order. So it, it's just, and, and all these ISIS videos coming out saying, oh, we gotta go to war, we gotta go to war, we gotta give trillion dollars because five people died and give up all our rights and lose thousands of military people fighting ISIS, you know, full out war. Fucking shut the fuck up, people. Alright? We don't need another fucking war that costs a trillion dollars for Dick Cheney's Halliburton and takes away all our rights again, fighting a threat that we created ourselves. Totally mindless. Totally just retarded. They got this fake threat of terrorism out there like it's the end of the world. How many people have ISIS killed? Americans have ISIS killed so far? What? Six? Oh, oh my god, oh my god, six Americans died, let's give up all our freedoms, uh, government, you know, come to my house and spy on me so I'm not, to make sure I'm not Al-Qaeda, oh my god, uh, uh, that, that's your, like, typical, I, I'm exaggerating a little bit, but that's your response for your Americans, they're willing to give up all their freedoms, and now I fucked up my hair, but they're willing to give up all their freedoms, just to protect against terrorism, you know, Oh, yeah, let's not worry about car accidents. Oh, it only kills 30,000 a year. Yet nobody talks about that, does they? Do they? And, and that's a risk of life, though. All, 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 you know, car accidents are a risk. They're a big risk of life. And, you know, you got to take risks in life. But that's, a, that's a side issue. ISIS has been funded by us to create a fake threat of terrorism to control the dumbed down public that's drinking its fluoride, watching its mind-controlled television, etc. So it, it, it's just sickening to see how dumbed down the people are and how they, they don't realize what's actually going on in the world. And you feel bad for them, but at the same time, you just want to shake their heads and say, wake the fuck up. Just look at, well, it'll only take five or ten minutes of research for somebody to realize and look at mainstream news articles that say we fund ISIS. It only took me like ten minutes to find like four or five articles that say, U.S. funds ISIS. It doesn't take that long, people. Or American allies fund ISIS. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're fighting a coalition with other countries that we're allied with that are, you know, supposedly against ISIS when they're actually funding them. <laughs> oh, that, that, that makes sense, doesn't it, people? That makes a lot of fucking sense. <sighs> so anyway, you know, just realize what's actually going on in the world right now what's actually going on in the Middle East and the true side of the story that's actually happening, people. All right? And again, these ISIS videos, they look fake to me almost. It actually came out a news article in the Telegraph saying experts think these these videos have a... Uh, I think they said it was... They, they probably think they're fake. 
So there you go. <laughs> uh, and again, when the government says, oh, let's go to war because of this. That thing, you know, you better be damn well sure that thing probably is a lie. Because look at all the events. Blowing up the Maine, blowing up the Lusitania, Pearl Harbor, Vietnam, the Gulf of Tonkin, WMDs in Iraq, 9-11. All motherfucking lies, people. All motherfucking lies. All propaganda to get us get to go in the war with ISIS. Now everybody's beating the war drums and they're, oh, let's blow up ISIS. You know, let's blow them up. Well, you know, let's first realize, though, that we were the ones who created it. All right, then we can make a decision of whether to bomb them or not. Uh, you know, but if we realize that, if we get like a Rand Paul in there and he really exposes the facts that we fund ISIS, we created them, then we go in there and wipe them all out. That's, a, that's you know, I could kind of support that. But, you know, let's say we, you know, Obama says, you know, let's say they do, do a false flag or some shit. You know, like ISIS kills a few hundred people. Then we go to war with ISIS. If they kill fucking, if they come over here and blow up a bomb, I think all they need, all they need to do is kill fucking like 20 people. You know, they don't need a fucking another 9-11. People are already on their edge of their seats ready for another war. If they blow up, if they commit, they're building it up too with all these killings. And this recent one, one with a Jordan pilot being burned alive, I mean, it kind of looks like a Hollywood movie to me. And how long he was standing up and moving after he was being burned, his whole body engulfed in flames, yet he was still moving. I mean, kind of looks a little bit fake to me, if you ask me. But anyway, um, and if I knew I was about to be burned alive... You know, I, I don't know what, 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 what these people were doing beforehand. But if I knew if I was about to be burned alive, it didn't really look like he was crying. He looked like he was just kind of standing there. I would be on my fucking knees probably crying. I, you know, I, I don't know about you, but that's probably my reaction. All these people that are about to have their throats slit, they're not crying either. And no blood comes out. They don't even show what happens after. And you think ISIS is big, brutal military or whatever. Not military, but this big, big, bad organization. Would show people's throats being slit and the blood coming out. And they go like six times, you know, back and forth and blood doesn't come out. You know, and again, experts have questioned the legitimacy of these videos. So false flag, maybe. Um, but just remember, I think they're, I, I think they're building up for the big false flag. They're doing these few, you know, few videos to get American on the edge of their seats. Because look at that, what look at what happened. Most Americans were opposed to bombing ISIS, you know, about six or eight months ago. Then they killed some people, killed what five people, five Americans, and now people are like, oh, you know, it looks like these people are dangerous. We might have to go to war with them, you know. And the dumb dumb public is, you know, getting a little pro war now, you know. A lot of people are like, oh, let's bomb the shit out of them. Some people are maybe you're like, well, we might need to bomb these people or do something about it. And then you got your people like me who are, you know, what, what, actually what the fuck's going on. But when they pull off this big false flight that I think's coming, or if they do, you know, and they, uh, they don't, again, they don't need another, another 9-11, I don't think. I think all they need to do is kill, uh, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 people. And then, you know, people are, then people are just going to go crazy with, oh, we got to go to war, full out war, full military invasion. They're going to go crazy, people. So, um, you know, I, I sense a false flag coming. I think they're building up to it, definitely. I don't think it's going to be another 9-11, but I think it's going to be a significant event. Uh, maybe a little bit more deadly than the Charlie Headbow. Because when they do a big event like 9-11, there's a lot of holes to cover it up. But if they only do a few, like 20, 30, 40 people, you know, or let, let, let the attack happen, whatever, then it's much easier to cover up because it's a smaller attack. You know, if you just let one bomb off somewhere and kill, few, you know, 20, 30 people, it's a lot easier than flying four planes into specific areas around the country. So there you go, people. Again, that's my kind of my prediction. I see a false flag in the future, probably before the end of 20, 2016. Um, and I don't know what their plans are, you know. And people are like, oh, Obama, he's so, you know, he's 
so weak on foreign policy. How is he weak on foreign policy? Look at how hawkish he is. He's launched, like, fucking bombings of, like, what, I think they said six countries. He lied about when he was going to end the war. Yeah, he's bombing two countries currently right now. He's not a, he's not a fucking pushy, pussy, I guess. Or he's not weak on foreign policy, all right? All right, so uh, this video is going pretty long. Don't want to bore you to death, but that's just my opinion. And it's important to get my opinion out. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on all these, uh, all this shit happening with ISIS. So there you go, people.